What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, I really want some 40 series GPUs, but I'm having a hard time deciding on which ones I want to buy. My expectation for the 4070 was really low, but it surprised me. It is doing a little bit better than my expectations, and now I'm struggling to figure out, do I want a 4090, do I want a couple of 4070 Ti's, or do I want several 4070's? And for that reason, I have done a deep dive, created a spreadsheet, and I've compared it to what I'm probably going to be parting with in order to pay for the new 40 series GPUs. And I would really like to know what you guys think, so I'm counting on your input to make this decision, but I love having all of the data in front of me, and for that reason, I've got a nice little spreadsheet that I wanna go over with you guys. But before we do, if you would, do me a favor, hit that like and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so by the end of the video so we're going to use hashrate.no for this calculation and as you can see i've got six 6600s and i'm putting my power rate at 13 cents per kilowatt hour i think that's pretty close to the average of most of the viewers now for me personally i'm actually only paying somewhere between six cents and nine cents per kilowatt hour depending on what i'm mining because my solar only produces so much in a day, uh, it really varies how much I'm spending per kilowatt hour because of what I'm mining. So as you can see, the most profitable thing to mine at this very moment is paprika coin on 66600s, coming in with a power of 378 watts, $1.83 in revenue, 65 cents a day in profit. And then we have a lithium coming in second at 222 watts, $1.22 in revenue and 53 cents a day in profit. Then we got Radiant with 276 watts, $1.16 in revenue and 30 cents in profit and so on. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read every single one of these because I have a spreadsheet for this, but we also have three 4070s, the most profitable being Dynex, followed by Nexa and then Radiant. Then we have two 4070 Ti's, most profitable being Dynex, followed by Nexa, and then Radiant. And then we have a single 4090, with the most profitable being Dynex, followed by Radiant, and then Nexa. Now, obviously, depending on what my preference to mine is, would determine what is the best GPU to get. However, I don't know what I'm going to be mining. I would like to take a look at a bunch of different algorithms and again for that reason I created a spreadsheet to make things a little bit easier on us and apologies there's no dark mode here so hope I didn't just blind you so let me take a moment here to explain this chart so first we have the RX 6600s we have six of them and the reason I'm comparing six 6600s to these is because if I were to sell this 6600 rig I would probably get about 1800 bucks for it. I know somebody who wants uh, an entry level rig and I think this would be a decent first buy for them. Now of course they might be doing better off if they were to buy one of the 40 series GPUs but I don't think that they are set up for that for their desktop PC and for that reason they just want something that's turnkey, it's built, it's done. I just show them how to use it and they're good to go. In fact, I'll be hosting it or managing it for them. But anyways, moving on. So we've got a single 4090, two 4070 Ti's, and a 3470s. All of these are very close in price. So 3470s would be about 1800 bucks. Two 4070 Ti's, depending on which ones you buy, would be anywhere from 1600 to 1800. And then a single 4090 also would be anywhere from 1600 to 1800. So I feel like dollar wise, these are pretty good comparisons, but the way the chart works here is whatever comes in first place in that category gets 100%. Whatever comes in after that, so in this case, we take 152, divide it by 276, and that gives us 55% of 100% being the best. So this is power, this is revenue, this is profit, and this is yield. All of these things are my biggest concerns. 
Now, me personally, I'm not selling every day. I mine, I hodl for the next bull run. So that's how I'm looking at this. You may have a different opinion. If you do, please leave your comments down below. So let's take a look at Dynex first here. Now, you guys can tell it's already color coordinated. So I think the 4090 is going to win two of the four categories here. So it's the top in revenue. It's also the top in yield. And it has 99% of the profit of first place which would be 34070s. So profit here would be $1, here would be 96 cents, 99 cents, and believe it or not, 6 RX 6600s on Dynex would break even. Now those aren't the most important things I would like to take a look at a bunch of different things but for the sake of time I feel like these were my my top four choices was to focus on power revenue profit and yield so moving on to Nexa and by the way the winner here looks like it's probably going to be the 4090 with a close second being the 34070s now on Nexa uh, looks like power wise, 24070 TIs are going to use the least amount of power at 338 watts, versus 66600s would only use 354 watts. So we're coming in second place here, followed by the 4090, only using 410 watts. And as you can see, the 34070s is going to use 519 watts, considerably worse than the rest of them. However, when it comes to revenue and profit, the 34070s are in first place. And how about yield? Well, yield in this case, oops, we got a mistake here. Let me fix this real quick. There we go. So in total yield, the 33070s are in first, as well as profit and as well as revenue. But we got a pretty close second on profit with the 24070 TIs and the 4090 isn't too far behind those and as you can see the 66600s coming in dead last by a considerable margin so in this case it looks like 34070s would be the best choice so we got one for the 4090 and one for the 4070 times three next up we've got radiant now in this category profit is going to go to the 4090 total power used is going to go to the 24070 ti's total revenue is going to go to the 33070s and total yield is also going to go to the 33070s now how about flux and by the way a special thank you to r over or rover uh, from hashrate.no. I asked for hash rates on flux and chlor for the 4070s, which wasn't currently listed, and he hopped on it very quickly so that I could finish this chart. So, again, thank you, sir. Okay, so looks like the least amount of power is going to be the 24070 TIs. The most revenue is going to go to 33070s. The most profit is going to go to the 24070 TIs and the most yield is going to go to the 33070s. Then we move on to Chlor. So Chlor, the 6600s were able to make up a little bit of ground. Believe it or not, uh, in revenue, the 66600s uh, won in this category, but as far as the least amount of power used that's going to go to the 24070 TIs and then the most profit and the most yield is going to the 34070s which means we did pretty poorly on the 23070 TIs and the single 30 or 4090 uh, yeah you can see the numbers here let's move on let's talk about alephium so as far as power is concerned the 6600s came in on top close second with the 24070 TIs. The most amount of revenue is going to be the 33070, or excuse me, 34070s. The highest profit though is going to go to the 4090, 
with a close second with the two 4070Ti's and then another close third place here by the three 4070's and the best yield is going to go to the three 4070's next up we got Caspa using the least amount of power once again is going to be the two 4070Ti's with a very close second for the 4090 and then for the most revenue we're gonna get the three 4070's the most profit is going to go to go is going to go to the two 4070 Ti's and the most yield is going to go to the three 4070s. So when we take all of these percentages and we average them, this is our final scores. The 66600s coming in at 63.54%, 14090 coming in at 82.39 two 4070Ti's coming in at 84.39 and the three 4070's coming in at 86.21 so if I were to base my decision just off of these algorithms alone it looks like the 4070's make the most sense which was really surprising to me I really thought it'd be a pretty close battle between the 4090 and the two 4070 Ti's. So this surprised me and I'm curious if it surprised you guys as well. However, let me add a couple of caveats to this. So first thing would be the fact that I really want to build my next rigs for proof of useful work. And I feel strongly that the 4090 is probably going to be the best choice for that. The other thing to consider is resale value much later down the road. I feel like the 4090 is probably going to hold its value a little bit better than some of the other GPUs, but I could be wrong. I could be. And some other things to consider would be, number one, the price. So let's say, for instance, if I can get a Founders Edition 4090 for 1600 bucks and I can get three 4070s for $600 a piece, well, I'm spending a little bit less on a 4090, $200 less, in fact. Now, the two 4070 Ti's are probably going to cost me a minimum of 1600 so we're at a tie between the 4070 Ti's and the 4070s. Now, or excuse me, between the 4070 Ti's and the 4090 whereas best case scenario with the three 4070s I'm looking at 1800 and that makes it really tough and I'm pretty torn here guys so I am relying on you if you would leave your comments down below explaining your reasons for what you would do and hopefully we can come to a decision here pretty quickly because I really want one of these 40 series GPUs. But that's it for this video. If you would, do me a favor, hit that like. And if you haven't subscribed, hopefully you will after this one. And I'll see you guys on the next one.